hi all today in this is material ics tutorial we will learn about forms material ics is cover all html controls uh, let see there is a lots of controls so we will cover this all controls in three different videos in this video we will learn about four components text box combo box radio button and check box first of all we will see how to put controls uh, in html mostly we will uh, uh, put controls in grid structure in row and columns so we can put it in row then column plus uh, input field both classes or we can put it in like this row then column and then input fields input field class is used to provide some styling to controls let's check it if we are not adding input field class then how control look so it will not uh, not so it is not look good text box is used with label or place order to tell user what to enter in this field check text box code to create a place order we have to write this code and to create a label we have to put label after text box like this we have to give a text box id to its for attribute material css also provide a validation messages you can set a data success attribute and data error attribute to text box like this see how does the uh, data, uh, data success or error attribute display on web page Materialized text box can have an icon also. We can set icon to text box using this code. But these text box colors are not match with color scheme of the website. So we can change uh, its default styling using a CSS. We can customize color, text box border color, etc. Uh, let's see CSS code of the text box to change label color we can write uh, this code this code is used to set a label color when text box is active this code will define a text box border color when it is uh, active and this bot css will define text box border for a valid and invalid input respectively we can also set a icon focus color means when text box will have a focus then the color of icon will be defined by this here also keep one thing in mind that if you are setting text box value dynamically then add active class to label which is associated with text box or you can write this line of javascript which will do same thing So now we move to our next control combo box. We all know how to create a combo box. First select tag and inside it option tags. But in materialize it is a jQuery plugin. So we have to initialize it in document ready event. This is a single selection combo box but sometimes we need to provide a multiple selection to user suppose skill field so we can allow multiple selection in combo box via setting a multiple property to select it like this we can also use a opt group tag to create a group inside a combo box see it's got here and to display image inside a combo box 
we can use a data icon attribute to option type see here now before checking the remaining controls we will see how they are working first check the radio button oh it it is not working let's check checkbox mm, it is also not working because it is a put inside a input fit class we should not put a checkbox and radio button inside a input field realize radio button have a two style with gap and without gap without gap is a default style if you want to with a gap style a radio button then you can use with gap class like this now we reached our last control checkbox checkbox is a three step check uncheck and in determinate checkbox we, we all know about a checked and unchecked state but there may be some web designer who don't know when to use a indeterminate checkboxes i also don't know about it before making a this video i know when you look at uh, this code pen you will understand indeterminate checkboxes so now you, you will uh, learn here all the components which need to be covered in this video are completed if you have any queries related to material css or any web design uh, you can write me in comment or uh, mail me i will try to help you if you learned something from this video then please like and share these videos and if you don't want to miss uh, my latest tutorials then please subscribe my channel